you hurt yourself? Yes, I did. I banged my knee on this table. It's right in the middle of the room. That's a bad place for it. Have you hurt yourself on it before? Yes. I hurt myself on it last month and two weeks ago. You've hurt yourself a lot on it. You should move it to the side. Then you won't hurt yourself. Right. I'll do it. What are you drinking? I'm drinking apple juice. Have you ever drunk pear juice? Yes, I drank pear juice last month. Did you drink any apple juice last month too? Yes, I drank some apple juice last month, but mostly I drank pear juice. What are you making? I'm making a cake. How do you do that? I take flour, water, sugar, eggs, and butter, and I put them in a bowl and mix them to make batter. I see. Then I put the batter in a greased baking pan and bake it in the oven. Did you make that cake? Oh, this cake? Yes, I made it. It looks good. For how many years have you made cakes? I've made cakes since I was a boy. What are you doing? I'm riding my bike. But it's late. It's hot now. It's already 11 o'clock. That's OK. I like the heat. When did you begin riding this morning? I began riding at 10.30. Really? Not until 10.30? Have you always begun to ride so late? Yes, I always have. I like hot weather. Well, enjoy your ride. Thanks. Bye. Look at those birds. They're flying very high. Yes, they are. Where have they flown from? They've flown from the north part of the United States. And where are they flying to? I don't know. More birds flew over this place last year. There aren't so many this year. I wonder where the others are. You can set your boxes and bags on the ground. What? You might drop your boxes and bags. You should set them on the ground. Oh, OK. I've set them on the ground. Now what? Now you can get your keys out. That's right. I set them on the ground, and then I got my keys out. Good thinking. Where did I put my briefcase? You put it behind the chair. Oh, right. Have you put it behind the chair before? Yes, I have put it there often. Now I'm putting it on the table. What are you doing? I finished sawing a board, and now I'm winding up this cord. A long time ago, I wound cords like you are, but now I wind them around boards. Have you ever wound a cord around a board? No, I haven't. Try it.
Should I wind it like this? Yes, like that. All right. I like this way of doing it. There. Now it's your turn. Here's my play. Ah, I've won. You have? How did you win? Well, look. You're right. Good playing. Thanks. But you've still won most of the games tonight. Well, yes, I have. But you won that hard game last night. That was just luck. There. I finished screwing that screw. Good. Now withdraw the nails from the next corner and screw the screws in. Wait. Withdraw both the nails. I've withdrawn both the nails. No, you haven't. Look. You withdrew one nail, but not the other. Ah, you're right. Catch the ball. I caught it. You caught it well. Thanks. I have practice. I've caught a lot of balls recently because I've played baseball. What are you doing? I'm cutting wood. I want to make a table. You're fast. Have you cut wood much before? Yes, I've cut lots of wood. I like carpentry. It's good exercise. Oh, but it's made me hungry. Oh, I have an apple. I just cut this apple in half. Would you like some? Sure. Thanks. Hello, Sam. Hello, Bill. How are you? Fine, thanks. I want to invite you to dinner tomorrow night. Can you come? Yes, I'd be happy to. What time? Can you come at six o'clock? Six o'clock? Are you sure I should come so early? I've come at six o'clock before to find the door locked and you still at work. But you came at six o'clock last Monday, and I was here. But that was a holiday. You didn't work. Hmm. You're right. Okay. Please come at seven o'clock. Is that better? Yes, it is. I'll see you at seven o'clock tomorrow night. Goodbye. Bye bye. What are you drawing? I'm drawing a picture of a face. Is this your first picture? No. I've drawn two pictures before. When did you draw them? I drew them early this morning. Where are you driving your car? I'm driving to the supermarket. Do you usually drive your car there? No, I usually ride my bicycle. I've driven my car to the supermarket only two times this month. When did you last drive there? I drove there on Monday when it rained. What are they doing? They're fighting. That's terrible. Are you going to stop them? No. They're brothers, and they're having fun. Don't worry. They won't hurt each other. How long have they been fighting? For only five minutes. Have they often fought? Oh, yes. They never get angry when they fight. They fought last week for 15 minutes and never got angry. Well, if they're really just playing, then I guess it's okay.
Are you going to freeze that food? Yes, I am. Why? I don't want to eat the pie right now. And I already have too much meat in my refrigerator to eat this. Don't you think you might have too much in your freezer? What have you frozen? I've frozen steak, fish, chicken, and some corn. Last week, I froze some strawberries, too. Oh, no! My foot! Ouch! My nose! Oh! Ow! Bring me the frisbee. Yeah, come on. Now, give the frisbee to me. Come on. What's the matter? This dog brought the frisbee to me, but she won't give it to me. How many times has she brought the frisbee before? Never. This is the first time. That's your problem. You must teach her to give you the frisbee. She thinks you were just playing when you try to get it. Oh. Where are you going? I'm going to my car. Why are you going to your car? To get my sunglasses. You're always going to your car. You went to your car 10 minutes ago. Why did you go to your car? To put my jacket in the car. This is ridiculous. How many times have you gone to your car in the last hour? Only five. Ah! What are you cooking? I'm cooking chicken and steak on a grill. It smells good. Tell me, how did you start the fire? This fire? First, I put charcoal in the grill. Then, I put lighter fluid on the charcoal. And then, I lit the charcoal with a match. Did you light it in one place or in many places? I lit it in many places. I've always lit it in many places, so it would burn in many places. Why are we going to the supermarket today? Because we don't have enough food in the house and we are going to need more for dinner tomorrow. shopping list in the car. Let me have the keys and I'll get it. You go ahead and I'll catch up. Are you going to lock the car? Yes, I'll do it. Are we going to get much food today? No, not much. Shall we take a cart or a basket? We're not going to buy much, so let's take a basket. But you'll get tired carrying a basket around the store. No, I won't. I'm strong. You'll see. Well, okay. But I hope you won't ask me to carry it for you when you get tired. No way. I won't. Shall we go together or split up? I suggest we stay together. That way you can carry the basket for both of us. Okay. Where shall we go first? Suppose we go to the dairy section first. Okay, let's go. Here's the dairy section. What shall we get? Let's get half a gallon of milk. Suppose we get some yogurt, too. Well, I guess we could get some. What kind shall we get? How about peach and strawberry? Sounds good. Let's get those. I'll get two of each. Where shall we go next? We'll go to the meat section. What shall we get? How about some chicken and fish? That sounds good. I'll get it. Are you going to get catfish? Catfish? I'm about to get halibut. Why don't you get catfish? Would eat catfish. Would the children eat it? No, I suppose not, but I would. 
All right, I'll get both catfish and halibut. That way, everyone will be happy. Good idea. Where shall we go next? Let's go to the cereal section next. Here's the cereal. I propose we get cornflakes. Will you eat cornflakes if I get them? Yes, I will. And we will need one other kind of cereal. How about puffed wheat? Well, I suppose the children would like it if we got it, but I wouldn't. It tastes like paper. What shall we get then? Could you get some bran cereal? Yes, that would be good. Let me get some of that. By the way, isn't that basket getting a little heavy? Isn't it going to hurt your arm if you keep carrying it? No, it's okay. It won't hurt me. Where are we going now? Let's go to the bread section. This is the bread section. What kind of bread shall we choose? They have white, rye, whole wheat, and pumpernickel. I think whole wheat is the most nutritious. I suggest we get that. And I'd like to get a loaf of rye, too. I like it. But the children won't eat it. No problem. I will. Hold it. We've both got whole wheat. Wait, we've each got rye. Look, I'll keep this rye. You put your rye back and take a loaf of whole wheat. Then we'll be okay. Good, let's put them in the basket. Are you sure you'll be all right carrying that basket? Don't you want to get a cart? No problem. I'll be all right. Let's go to the produce section next. Produce? What do we get there? Um, I don't remember. I'll look at the list. We'll need cabbage, cucumber, radishes, apples, and plums. Okay, let's go. I'll get the fruit and you get the vegetables, okay? Okay. today. I got some carrots. Hey, are you going to get two heads of cabbage? Yes, they're on sale. But how will we eat all that cabbage? I'll make cabbage soup. How about making some cabbage rolls too? Good idea. But where are the plums? I was about to get some when I saw the price. They're too expensive this week. Let's not get any. But the children will want more food. Well, shall we get some oranges? All right. Suppose you get six. I'll do it. Oh, I heard. And are you sure you wouldn't really prefer a cart? That basket looks as if it's about to break. <laughs> Whoops. No. It's no problem. I'll be all right. All right, Superman. Well, we're finished here. Let's go to the canned soups. What do we get here? We're going to get two cans of mushroom soup and one can of tomato soup. And shall I get a can of lentil soup too? Wait. Are you about to get that brand? Why, yes. What's wrong? Let me check the ingredients first. Aha! This soup has onions in it. So? Don't you remember what will happen to me if I eat onions? No. What? I'll get an upset stomach. Oh, of course. Well, will you get an upset stomach from that soup? No, I won't. This one has no onions. Shall we get a can of that then? Yes, let's. 
I'll look at the list. We have everything. We're finished. Let's go to the checkout line. Are you sure you haven't broken your arm carrying that basket? Well, it was heavier than I expected. I think my arm will hurt ache a little tomorrow. Will you use the cart next time, please? Okay, yes, I will. Hey, how am I going to pay for all this food? I was about to pay the check, but I forgot my checkbook. They won't take credit cards here. How much cash do you have? I'll look. Oh, it's okay. I'll be able to pay for it. I have enough cash. Good. Here you are. I don't have the exact change. Will it's onesie be okay? That one will be fine. Thank you. Okay, muscles. You'll be able to carry those bags to the car, won't you? Because you're strong, aren't you? Sure. That'll be easy. Good. And I have a nice idea. Let's play some tennis before dinner. Tennis? Wait, I'm going to open the back door. Where did I put those keys? I can't find them. Oh, here they are. Thanks, but uh, why don't you drive? Uh, I'll just sit and relax. Right. something. What do you hear? I don't hear it now. What did you hear? I heard a plane. Have you heard planes before? Yes. I've heard several planes before. That's not strange. There's an airport near here. Why are you putting money under your mattress? I'm hiding the money. I don't want burglars to find it. You shouldn't hide it there. Many people have hidden money under their mattresses, but burglars often find it. How much have you hidden there? Oh, I hid $200 last month, and today I've hidden $150. So, in all, I've hidden $350. Wow, that's a lot of money. You shouldn't have it there. Where should I hide it? Don't hide it. Put it in a bank. A bank? Uh, I don't know. It will be safe there. Okay, I will. Come on, hurry up. Don't take all day. I'm working as fast as I can. Well, if you don't finish by five o'clock, you'll have to work overtime tonight. And I won't pay you because you should finish by five. What? This is too much work. 
Nobody could finish this work by five. That's your problem. I want it done. You always give me and the other employees too much work. And you never pay us overtime or benefits. And we don't make much money here anyway. They all want to quit. Don't make my heart bleed. Get back to work. I'm sorry. I quit. I'm going to find another job. You won't find one. Yes, I will. I've quit jobs before and found better ones. One time, I quit a job paying $5 an hour and found one paying $5.75 an hour with a nicer boss, so I know I can do it. Well, I can't stop you. If you want to quit, do it. Clear out, now! Where are the insurance papers? I laid them on the table. Can you give them to me? Okay. I don't see them, but I usually lay papers only on this table. Have you ever laid papers in another place? Well, yes. I've laid papers on the table in the other room sometimes. Ah, check that table. Ah, I found the insurance papers. Oh, my arm hurts. I've held this jack for 15 minutes. Here, you hold it. I held it this morning. I don't care. I've held it too long. I want you to hold it. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Hey, you're leaving early today. No, I'm not. I usually leave at this time. What time is it now? It's 8 o'clock. What time did you leave yesterday? I left at 9 o'clock. So you're early today, right? No. I've left at 8 o'clock every morning this month. But yesterday was different. Yesterday was a holiday, so I left the house late. Oh, I see. Hey, are you eating my lunch? No, I'm not. I'm eating my lunch. Well, somebody has eaten it. I don't see it anywhere. I didn't eat it. Somebody ate it yesterday, too. Was it you? No, it wasn't. I ate my lunch yesterday. Where are you taking those magazines? I'm taking them to the kitchen. Have you taken my magazines to the kitchen? Yes, I took them yesterday. What's wrong? This milk stinks. Really? Why? Is it too old? I don't know. Oh, I remember. I forgot to put it in the refrigerator last night. When I've done that before, the milk has always stunk. I know what you mean. I left some milk out last week, and it stank too. Have you given back my book yet? Yes, I have. Well, I can't find it. When did you give it back to me? I gave it back to you on Tuesday. What did you do with it after that? Oh, I remember. I gave it to my friend, Sam. Good. You know, I'm always very careful to give back the things I borrow. Yes, I know. Hi. What do you have there? I have some oranges. May I have one? Sure. Here, have more than one. Gee, thanks. Now, how many have you kept? I have... One, two, three, four, five oranges. So enjoy your four oranges. Four? Wait a minute, you gave me only three. But I have nine oranges. And I kept five, so you must have four. 
but I don't. I have three. Three plus five equals eight. Where's my other orange? Did they cheat me at the store? Look in the bag. Oh. Here it is. I have it. Good. I can't decide what to wear to the party. Do you want some help? Sure. I've chosen to wear these pants, but which shirt should I choose? How about that brown one? No, choose another. The white one with the blue stripes? No, it doesn't look right with my tie. Well, you know what you want. I chose the brown one and I chose the white one, but you didn't like them. Maybe you should choose your clothes by yourself. What are you doing? I'm paying bills. Have you paid many bills this week? Yes, I've paid a lot of bills this week. I paid the telephone bill on Monday, and I'm paying the electric and gas bills today. What are you reading? I'm reading a good book. It's called Just So Stories. Have you read The Jungle Book? Yes, I have read it. It was good. When did you read it? I read it last year. Why are you running? I'm running for exercise. Where did you run yesterday? I ran in the park. Have you run far today? No, I've run only two miles. Bye. Where are you sending that letter? I'm sending it to my brother in New York. Do you often send him letters? Yes, I do. This year, I've already sent him 43 letters. That's a lot. When did you last send him one? I last sent him one five days ago. What are these? I have some shorts here, which somebody gave me. I don't need them. Would you like some? Well, yes. That's kind of you. I need another pair. Are they my size? I don't know. Take some, go in there, and put them on. Oh, help. These don't fit. They're too tight. Okay, try another pair. They don't fit. They're too big. Well, all the others are the same. These shorts just haven't fit. They're too big or too small, too tight or too loose. You're right. I'm sorry. But when I was at the store, I found a pair that fit. I think I'll buy them. Good idea. Oh, give me a hole. Please stop singing. Why? I like singing. You sang yesterday, and you sang the day before. In fact, you've sung almost every day this month. It's too much. Gee, I'm sorry. What are you doing? I'm sitting in the chair. Did you sit in the chair yesterday? No, I sat on the sofa. Have you sat on the sofa many times this week? No, I haven't. I've sat on it only three times this week. Is he still sleeping? Yes, he is. He slept badly at home last night, so he's sleeping here now. How long has he slept? 
He slept for three hours. Stop that. Cut it out. But I'm just sliding. It's fun. But you might get hurt. I won't get hurt. A girl slid on this floor last month and got hurt. But not me. I've slid on floors since I was three years old. I know how to do it. Watch. Why are you lying on the sofa? Because I'm watching TV. Why don't you sit in a chair? Because I like to lie on the sofa. I've always lain on a sofa when I've watched TV. I lay on a sofa when I was a boy, and I lie on sofas now. Yeah. Hey! All right! What well, happened? My team beat the other team. Really? Yes. They've beaten every team they've played this year. Wow. I think they could beat any team if they play like they played tonight. Yay! There's a chair. Why don't you sit? No. I like to stand. I stood yesterday. And I'm standing today. Have you always stood when you could sit? Yes, I have. I like it. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a sweater. Have you worn a sweater every day this week? No, I've worn a sweater only on cold days. Monday was warm, so I wore a t-shirt. I wore a t-shirt on Monday too. What are you doing? I'm sweeping the walk. Is it very dirty? Yes, it is. I've swept it three times this week because it's been dirty. When did you last sweep it? On Thursday. I last swept it on Thursday. The word undertake means the same as do. I can say, I do a job or I undertake a job. What are you teaching? I'm teaching English. How many years have you taught English? Oh, I've taught English for eight years. Hey, my friend was in your class for two months last year. You taught her English in the morning. Was she in the beginning group or the advanced group? I'm not sure, but her English is pretty good now. So maybe you taught her in the advanced group. What happened? The chair broke. <laughs> wow. Have any chairs ever broken under you before? No. This is the first time a chair has broken under me. Why did it break? Maybe it was old. The cup is falling. this cup here? Did the cup fall? Yes, the cup fell. Has this cup fallen before? Yes, it has fallen often. They should be more careful. I'm ringing the doorbell. I rang the doorbell but no one answered. I'll ring again.
I've rung the doorbell two times, and no one has answered. No one's home. What is this? I'm digging a hole. Did you dig all of it by yourself? Yes. It was hard, but I dug all of it. How long have you been digging? I've been digging for three days. But don't worry, I have experience. I've dug lots of holes before. But it's so big, an elephant could go into it. Why are you digging it? That's a secret. You'll see. I'm not sure I want to eat this. Go on. Bite it. You've never tasted a sandwich like this before. It's good. Well, okay. Okay, I've bitten it. Yes, yes, now chew it. All right. I'm chewing it. You bit it, you chewed it, now you know. Isn't it good? Well, you are right. It isn't like any sandwich I've tasted before. Yes, yes, another bite. Bite it again. Is the sun shining? Yes, it is. Has it shone all day? Yes, it has. Did it shine yesterday? Yes, it did. It shone in the morning, but not in the afternoon. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking about my father. Have you thought about your mother too? Yes, I have. I thought about her yesterday. Throw the ball here. Okay. You threw the ball well. Thanks. I've thrown the ball a lot recently. What did you find? Wow, I found two dollars. You're lucky. Yes, I've never found two dollars before. Have you ever found any money before? Yes, I have. I often find a little money, but I've never found this much money before. What are you riding? I'm riding a unicycle. How long have you ridden it? I've ridden it for 15 years. When did you first ride it? I first rode it in 1972. What are you doing? What did you say? What are you doing? Please say it again. I said, what are you doing? I can't hear you. I've said it two times. I'm not going to say it again. Are you writing a letter? Yes, I am. I'm writing a letter to my father. Do you write to him often? Yes, I write to him every week. How many times have you written to him this month? I've written to him two times this month. I wrote to him last week, and I wrote to him the week before. <laughs>